Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a growing winter storm that's about to be moving into the east coast and as well as the northeast United States as we go into tonight and tomorrow morning and this is going to continue to bring several inches of snowfall across both the Ohio Valley the mid-Atlantic and as well as the northeast United States in addition to this there will continue to be ice accumulation today that will be breaking down for you in this forecast but I do want to first begin with what What's happening here across the United States both today, tomorrow, and as well as over the next 7 to 10 days. And we'll begin with what's happening right now. We do have snow that's stretching from the East Coast, including Virginia, back into parts of Southern Arkansas, and we also have some freezing rain that is all the way down close to Houston, Texas. That is pretty crazy, obviously, because Houston, Texas does not see ice or freezing rain, in fact, very often. So this is definitely a bit of a rare event that is going to be moving across parts of the Dixie Alley and the Ohio Valley throughout the day today, and as well as Southern Texas. Notice this as we go into the afternoon hours, we're going to continue to see some freezing rain from Louisiana back into Mississippi. In addition to this, some moderate snowfall will be ongoing from Tennessee and northern Alabama back into Virginia. And then once we go into tonight, that snow will start to move off to the north and east toward New England and as well as parts of the east coast, including Washington, D.C. Areas near Philadelphia could also see some snowfall. So this will definitely be an interesting event, and we'll be breaking this down for you in depth here in just a couple of minutes. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And I did want to point out there actually could be some snow flurries maybe some light snow from about st louis back into parts of kansas tonight so just keep that in mind but once we go overnight tonight into tuesday morning that snow will move into the northeast so new england will start to get a little shot of at least a few inches of snowfall and then once we go into tuesday afternoon and evening high pressure will be building across the southern tier of the united states and even though this forecast will be mostly based off the winter storm that's happening today into tomorrow i did want to point out that there will be another chance for snow across the ohio valley once we go into Thursday and Friday. So keep this in the back of your head if you're back over in Ohio, maybe back through Pennsylvania, New York, and maybe even another little disturbance behind that for parts of the Midwest and back into the Ohio Valley. There might be a couple different shots there of some snowfall. That's definitely in the possibilities as we get closer to Friday. And by Saturday of this upcoming weekend, we'll be looking at a much drier weekend than what we've seen already this past weekend. So it'll definitely be a different change for really the entire United States. It has been a very active week and weekend. I think this upcoming week will definitely be a bit quieter after this winter storm exits the United States. But speaking of the winter storm, let's talk more about it in depth here. We're going to begin with the watches and warnings across the country. We still have winter storm warnings from West Virginia back into Northeast Texas at the time recording this forecast. Oh, literally the entire state of Tennessee, by the way, is under winter storm warnings, which is just a shocker. That does not happen very often. Quite rare for sure. Even Northwestern parts of Georgia back into Alabama and Mississippi, you are also under winter storm warnings. Winter weather advisories do include Houston, Texas, by the way and as well as parts of southern Louisiana back into Virginia just a lot of areas under winter weather advisories and these will extend further off to the north and east today if they've not already and so for areas like Pennsylvania maybe even potentially Connecticut there might be some winter weather advisories ahead of the potential for snow here are the winter weather impacts that are expected today on the roadways so overall travel impacts major travel impacts still expected across northern Mississippi even southern parts there of Tennessee I wouldn't rule out some major travel impacts even along here on the interstates from about Nashville back out to the east. In addition to this, there is going to be moderate travel impacts across areas from Little Rock back into Tennessee and as well as western Virginia. Most of the areas in Arkansas will see travel impacts this morning. There could still be some later today for untreated roadways because the ice is still going to be sticking, likely all the way through Wednesday until we actually get above freezing for temperatures in the long term. Minor travel impacts outside of that. That goes from Texas all the way back into a large chunk there of Virginia. For the next several hours, we're going to continue to see some light to moderate snowfall across much of Tennessee, back into northern Mississippi, and as well as northern Alabama. Once we get closer to lunchtime, we're going to continue to still see some moderate to heavy snowfall, even in parts of northern Alabama and Mississippi. Don't rule out a couple of snow flurries in southern and southwestern parts of uh, Missouri and maybe even southeast Kansas. Really, no accumulation out of that is expected, but there might be a little bit of passing snow showers. And then we'll be watching for snow to expand into parts of Virginia and West Virginia. Most of this will be light around lunchtime with moderate snowfall still ongoing across much of Tennessee. And then once we go into the afternoon hours, freezing rain continuing across Mississippi and Alabama, which again, this will lead to ice accumulation. So definitely be mindful of this. If you have any travel plans, take it very slow on the roadways. And I don't recommend traveling whatsoever if you do see ice, because again, a lot of these roads will not be treated. Once we get closer to around six o'clock tonight, snow will continue to move to the east and northeast. Really across Tennessee, a lot of this activity will be winding down. Only activity left after about six o'clock tonight will be 
east of Nashville. And then once we get closer to 9 to 10 o'clock tonight, we still have some freezing rain across areas like Alabama, Mississippi. Eventually overnight tonight, most of that snow moves out of the entire Ohio Valley. Now, I will show you the snow and ice accumulation in just a moment, but look at this in the northeast as we go into Monday afternoon. Again, snow will start to ramp up near Washington, D.C., Delaware, Maryland, back even into southern New Jersey. This is right around 6 o'clock tonight. We will continue to see some light snow across much of New Jersey, but this activity will really ramp up overnight tonight. So this is closer to about midnight tonight. We're going to start to see light to moderate snow from West Virginia back into northern parts of New Jersey. New York City, by the way, you will be seeing snow tonight. There will be a little bit of snowfall tonight. Again, not a whole lot of accumulation, but there will still be some snow. Going into tomorrow morning, this is right around about 6 o'clock. Some light to moderate snowfall across southern New England. All light snow off to the north of that, though. So there will be some pockets of moderate snow across Connecticut, Rhode Island, and perhaps parts of Massachusetts. Once we get closer to about 12 o'clock tomorrow, again, a lot of the snow will still be ongoing, but this will all be moving out as we go into the evening hours with the only snow remaining in parts of Maine. Now, in terms of snow accumulation across parts of the Ohio Valley, this is still including what we've already seen and what we are going to see from here on out. So again, a lot of these areas from parts of eastern Tennessee back into western Virginia, 48 inches of snow. So that'll be your range here for the next few hours. And then back even into West Virginia and parts of western Virginia, there will be around four to eight inches of snowfall. And even parts of northern Alabama and Mississippi, I still think will be in the ballpark of three to six inches. But again, notice the very sharp divide. Some areas might not even see a coating. It's going to be a very sharp divide there between three to six inches of snow. And on the flip side of things being a coating to an inch or just straight up freezing rain and as well as ice accumulation. Now, in terms of ice accumulation further down to the south and east, some of this, again, has already fallen, but what is still to come is also on here. So again, areas back down in southern Louisiana even have a chance of around a hundredth of an inch of ice, maybe a fiftieth of an inch of ice. It will not be that much, but it is still enough to cause travel impacts. Even parts of central Alabama and Mississippi will see upwards of a tenth of an inch of ice accumulation. And don't rule out Atlanta, Georgia, seeing maybe a very brief transition into freezing rain tomorrow morning. That'll be something to watch for. Now back over into the northeast, snow accumulation out of this event. It's going to be for the most part between one to three inches of snow. However, there will be some areas here across parts of New England that'll see between two to four inches of snow with maybe an isolated spot in southern Connecticut getting near five inches. If you're in New York City, I'm forecasting that area to be in the two to four inch range. But again, you might be on the higher end of that, perhaps even an isolated five inch reading as well. Again, this includes what we've already seen, but also what is to come. So areas down near Houston, don't rule out again a hundredth of an inch of ice, maybe even a little bit more than that on the suburbs areas. And then back into South Texas as well, there might be even a tenth of an inch of ice. As again, it's pretty shocking in areas like South Texas. It doesn't happen very often. It is definitely a rare event. Now, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel because in our next forecast, we're going to be breaking down another shot of Arctic air as we get closer to the tail end of this week as it goes into the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and even into areas like Florida. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video.